Okay, guys, I'm back with another edition of Rebels Rants. Excuse the music, my fucking newest CD player fucking went out, so I'm stuck listening to corporate rock radio, which to me is a bunch of goddamn bullshit. I fucking, I remember back when C101 and Q94.5 used to play real rock music, now they just play a bunch of bullshit. Well, that's neither here nor there. Um, getting on to my rant. I'm going to rant about TNA for a minute. Rocking my Baylor Club shirt. But, um... Th this does contain some spoilers, so... It, if you don't want to know any TNA spoilers, don't watch this video. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. Okay, here you go. In recent weeks, WWE has been signing up a lot of stars. They signed uh, Samoa Joe over the last several months. They signed, didn't sign, but they had James Storm working for them for a bit. They signed, over a year ago, Sting. Signed the Dudley Boys. I was in the process of signing a bunch of New Japan guys. And with TNA's twist to pop TV, whatever the fuck that is, uh, my DVR didn't record it, so I haven't seen their new episode yet. Probably not going to, because I don't have a computer and no way to fucking see it. But I happened onto some spoilers and an interview with Dixie where she went on a rant on the fans complaining about WW or TNA stealing WWE guys. And her ignorant ass went on a rant for um, WWE stealing uh, TNA guys. And I want to note, um, TNA has created zero fucking stars. Absolutely zero. It is fucking sad that a company that's been in business as long as they have has failed to, to build any stars of their own. I mean, the closest, I guess, was Samoa Joe, but he's an ROH guy. AJ Styles, I guess, even though he's worked for WWE, he's worked for New Japan Pro Wrestling, he's worked for WCW, he's worked for... Ring of Honor, I think he even had one or two matches in ECW, so definitely not a TNA guy. I guess you could say maybe first major run in an American company, maybe. With national TV. But... Dixie, um... WWE taking their own guys back isn't taking your guys. I mean, grab a book and see what home, read what the definition of homegrown stars are. WWE cannot steal stars that weren't created by you from you. If you're going to rob a convenience store, it's and you're the one that let them go because you couldn't afford to keep them. That's understandable, you know. Y'all are in a tough time financially, but don't do a bullshit rant about how WWE's taking all your talent when you tried to lowball them contract-wise rather than keep them. I mean, that's on you, Dixie. Now, in that same rant, you stated you were going to focus on going back to the grassroots of TNA and build your own stars. Cool? Hold on, I have to change this fucking shit. Something's better got to be on. Let's see what the cue's playing now. See you're with the shit bill. Better than the other shit. Uh, so you're... Your first act in in building a new star and your new twist for TNA 
was to crown EC3, who is, for the most part, a TNA homegrown star. You gave him the title. Awesome, I love EC3. I started out hating him, but he grew on me after about a year. Okay. Awesome work there, Dixie. You did a damn good job putting the title back on EC3, your biggest heel. I'm down for that. Now, this is where the spoiler comes in. After holding the title of fucking a cunt hair of a second at the tapings today for God knows the way I'll tape the fucking change might happen fucking three four months from now I really don't know I don't know the lines of how y'all are taping for your pop TV shit but instead of after going on a rant about how you're gonna build your own stars and prove that you are an alternative to WWE rather than being WWE light. You give your title to the epitome of the Attitude Era mid-card tag team. You put your world title on Matt Hardy. A person who, in my opinion, is as relevant as the Attitude Era. It's dead. Quit going back to the well. We're not going in a time machine going back to 1998 when the Hardys were still relevant. Why would you put your title on a guy that you can't take on an overseas tour because of a drug con conviction? Why would you turn... Why would you turn your greatest heel, the only thing remotely over in your company, last time I saw it, it's been a few weeks, he, uh, face, and make the irrelevant one heel. Hardy cannot talk on a mic, and EC3 is pure fucking gold, and your dumbass just keeps fucking switching shit. You guys, instead of just switching shit every 10 seconds, commit to a direction and let it go. Your company is the most indecisive company in wrestling. WWE has a lot of fucking flaws, but at least they fucking, for the most part, stick to their direction with their main characters. I don't know, Dixie. Uh, it's on you. Do you, I guess. Fuck it. I'm still gonna watch. I still like the product. I just, after your rant, I was expecting something a bit more.